Hello everyone, this is Navid Madanian. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a universal technique in how to use UDMs inside your game engine. Uh, this is a universal technique, which means this is not limited to any DCC, any game engine, or any texturing software. Uh, the technique is uh, pretty much simple. Uh, what we used to do is, well, we created our uh, mesh and then we unwrap it using UDMs and create uh, several tiles and then we exported this mesh to our texturing software in my case substance painter my showcase and then we uh, started painting and then we have a seamless set of textures and then what we used to do is to export the, the mesh into our game engine or Spelter mesh and then try to find uh, a way to make it work. Trying to, for example, do some scripting or use um, uh, some plugins maybe, uh, some built-in features, uh, create some custom material functions maybe to, uh, maybe to be able to actually use these UDMs. But, uh, the thing is, in this technique, we do not send this mesh to the game engine. Uh, uh, so far, uh, the, the, the technique is the same. We unwrap, use UDIMs, and then we move to Substance Painter with a new feature. We paint across uh, tiles, and then we have, a, we have a seamless, actually, texture set. But what we do from this stage, from this step, is we go back to our DCC software. We uh, create another version of our mesh, a game engine version. What we do is we uh, select all each tile and then we assign actually a unique material ID to each tiles. And then we move all these tiles back to range zero to one. And then this is the mesh that we are going to send to our game engine, which is this one I've already made. I named it Bux UE on your engine and Bux SV Substance Painter. If I open this one, you can see I have uh, assigned uh, a unique material ID to each tile. And also I have moved all those tiles back to the range 0 to 1. And we do this, it's very important because, well, there is no need to have uh, tiles away from range 0 to 1 in UV space since we have already assigned a unique material ID to them. And this is the game engine actually version. Uh, so if I open up Unreal Engine, you can see uh, I have all the texture sets from Substance Painter, base color, normal, masks, make sure you turn off sRGB on masks in Unreal Engine from Substance Painter. And I created the master material, very simple, and uh, created those instances and applied those materials to each to its proper actually ID. And now we have a seamless texture painted inside on your engine without any use of any plugins, any custom materials, any scripting, any built-in features. So on your engine, uh, actually 4.25, I believe, uh, has implemented some features to use UDMs, but uh, it's fine. We don't need them. And this is a universal technique again, and it works just fine. But there's something that I also wanted to, to tell you for those who already did not know them. If I uh, get close to, to our mesh, let me, if I get really close, uh, you can see that this is not perfectly seamless. See, there are some seams here. If, if uh, you're not actually watching this video on Full HD, I suggest you to, to, to watch to see these scenes. Uh, as you can see, I had to actually isolate the mesh to find those seams because and, uh, uh, it's really hard to find. It's really seamless. But actually, we do have some seams. So you may say, okay, it seems this technique has some flaws. But in fact, these seams do not come from this technique. Uh, if I go back to Substance Painter, and you get really close to Substance Painter, you can see actually these seams exist here as well. You can see in between we have these seams here. And this actually happens due to the fact that I did not preserve 
um, an even resolution among each tile inside my DCC. If I go back to Sosas Paints, if you go back to, um, to this Max, and if I, uh, my material, and let's say, assign a trigger box to this, and then say cold mesh and assign this. This one use the tiles too, maybe. Now, as you can see, uh, these tiles actually have pretty much uh, uneven resolution, and this is something for you to keep in mind. Uh, and those seems actually happen due to these facts. Uh, this is some, this is uh, important, uh, and our you artists must uh, keep an eye on this. If you're going to have a pretty much seamless seams from very close event, you have to take care about uh, the. Uh, resolution actually for each tile because when you paint across these uh, Sources Painter actually will maps uh, the, the painting formation based on the resolution so if when the, the resolution suddenly changes from for example this time to 4x more it's not 4x about 2x maybe uh, then uh, the, the, the information I mean the, the uh, painted extra strokes uh, do not match exactly at the seams. But again, you have to, uh, even with this um, um, carelessly uh, unwrapped um, showcase, you have to really uh, get really close to see those seams. Uh, so, which means you do not need to actually put a coolness on your monitor to be perfectly try to actually um, distribute an even resolution among these tiles. Uh, you, you just need to just eyeball it and you will be just fine. Uh, Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, again, this is um, a universal technique. This is not limited to any DCC, to any game engine, or any texturing package. You can use this technique and you will be just fine. Okay, guys, good luck and take care.